Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Aries. Brenda here, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast. Past, present, possible, future energy, beginning, middle, and end of the week energy. Take the way you want to take it. This is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with all of you. So take what you can and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. For all of those that re request a reading from me and desire one, I am booking this week. Last week I was booked solid. All that information is posted below. Uh, you can always whip me off an email and I can walk you through the process on my website. Okay, let's see what your all over energy card here is. My beautiful Aries, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Let's see what we have here for you. Spirit and guides, what are the messages that Aries needs to see, know, and expect? Well, we have one here that flipped over, and that's the one we're going to take. And you have got the card Strength. Okay, coming in with your second energy card. Let's see what we have here. Thank you very much, my beautiful fellow reader and friend in Europe. Charlotte gifted me this lovely Lennerman deck this week for Christmas. Beautiful. And you've got the lady. Check Charlotte out. She's out here on YouTube. Charlie's Angel Carol. Thank you. You know, I do believe we rise by lifting others and go see how she does her thing. She's very good. Uh, we're very close. And we, some of you that know me when I go out live, I have brought her out with me and I we're called the tarot tag team. Okay, let's see what we have here for your all-over uh, ending card here, the conclusion card. What do you need to surrender to? What do you need to change? What do you need to tweak? What do you need to be made aware of? Aries. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful Aries. And look at that. Surrender to passion. Now, let's see what we have here for our reading spirit. Thank you. Past, present, possible, future energy, beginning energy middle and end of the week let's see what we've got here all righty okay let's go okay coming in behind you could be the beginning of the week great way to start aries the wheel of fortune another fabulous card here the page of pentacles and then you have that that card of the four of cups now the center position which could be what you're feeling now you have the queen of wands you have your crossing over card here the page of wands and you have the four of wands things are starting to brighten up here my beautiful aries for this week the world not only did you get the wheel but you got the world and you have the knight of swords and you have the queen of swords beautiful okay starting off with your <clears throat> first and all over energy card you got strength and this is all about stepping up here and doing what when we talk about strength in the tarot it's generally the inner strength we have to dig deep but look at her she's holding the whole world <clears throat> a globe up there and she's able to do it with one hand because she's got up in her own head she's walking in her path and on her path of confidence and she's able to step up and you know you are stronger than you actually know you are my beautiful Aries so don't be afraid shine your light out and get there um, <clears throat> be strong and face the reality of your relationships at this time as well you know sometimes it says in order to maintain our healthy vessel that we have our body we need to do something as well and that's rest and get proper nutrition and keep us in balance sometimes maybe you need to step up and do a little more walking a little more exercise as well but I always like to refer to this as the main reading and main reason for this card and that means you may be asked this week to dig deep and be strong but I think you've done that I think a lot of you have gone through some major challenges and now you're able to connect to the universe and connect to source and dig deep and you're going to get that strength to move on this week so it's beautiful so you know what you could be feeling that things are weakening in a relationship the bonds are getting a little bit looser they're telling me but that's okay maybe you're pulling away from something that you needed to pull away from and you're standing in your own strength be strong and face the reality of your relationships at this time and you know what you can move forward i might be on uh, you know it might be on shaky ground uh, uh, but you've I think you've come to a conclusion and you've stood up for what you want you've spoken your uh, your word you walked the walk 
and not only just the talk the talk you're moving forward a lot of you and you're stepping up into independence here moving forward standing in your strength 44 beautiful number four very good number uh you know check it out on google your numbers and see what 44 means it's a beautiful number you know, fours are beautiful. Fours are all about building a foundation and structure and focusing inward for stability here now. So it's also, you know, being realistic and thinking practical and turning a situation over into your to your benefit here now. So I do think that, you know, you're digging deep. You're stepping up into your power of being strong, facing the challenges and not being afraid now to speak your mind and step up. You've got the lady and this could be a situation here with this woman. Um, you know, somebody around you that you might be having to be strong with stepping up and dealing with a woman here this week so I think you know your strength is going to be dealing with a relationship someone close to you here uh, that you have to deal with you know she represents a lot of women she could be a wife a lover a partner a soulmate a mother a sister a daughter a friend and even a confidant so you know what she exudes charm this beautiful woman and there is an air of romance about this woman as she you know she looks forward and she's at in her best attire and she's wanting to put her best foot forward to impress you so what she's attracting is determined by the cards around her and um you know what i think um you know strength is required here okay i think you need to be strong with this woman maybe she walks uh, walks a very powerful path and you may need to stand up to her and to be able to either walk beside her or be strong when you're around her so there could be a woman uh, I don't think you know it could be opposition but for some of you you know it could be opposition for others I think you're going to be uh, trying to uh, be strong for a particular woman that's close to you but again it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship now what do you need to surrender to you need to step up and surrender to passion get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow so get out there live your life be happy our world is opening up again Aries and you have the ability now to get out and enjoy it whatever that activity is or that event or that goal that you want to work towards please get out there and enjoy it do what makes your heart sing do what makes your heart you know want to be passionate beautiful now, coming in behind you, the beginning of the week, you've got some fabulous cards here, my beautiful Aries. First of all, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, karmically, energy shifting, working in your favor, good luck coming your way. The Wheel of Fortune says you could even expect something coming in uh, or get some unexpected windfall that comes in, but it's a beautiful card. And I don't believe now that you have to worry about throwing the dice and thinking that there's a risk. The Wheel of Fortune says toss those dice and expect things are going to improve, so be beautiful good energy coming in and it might have to do with finances because look at our page here he's he's coming in with good news and it's always good news about finances so somewhere along the line if you've been concerned about money feeling as though you're stuck in a place here you know in limbo you're going to hear good news that's going to allow you to to want to be passionate here that's going to allow you to step up and do what you want i mean this is fabulous so good news about money and also good luck coming your way four of cups says you know maybe you were stuck in a situation where you felt you couldn't go forward and you felt you were missing out on an opportunity and you felt bored um you know what it says keep your eyes open don't be afraid to look at things that might be unexpected and different but I don't think you're going to have a whole lot to worry about here. The beginning of the week, you've got some great energy coming in, my beautiful Aries. Now, coming in in the center position, which could be the energy you're feeling now, you have this beautiful Queen of Wands and you have the Four of Wands, which is celebration. But let's go right on to our crossing over energy. And this is a Page of Wands. Not only did you get the Page of Pentacles, but you got the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is about opportunities and information coming in that's going to excite you that's going to make you want to move forward and be passionate to go towards your goals so i know a lot of you've been working very hard on your careers here trying to create a legacy clear debts build up uh, you know um you know build up an account here where you've got money to fall back on and a stability here to fall back on and you're building that up so you know definitely when that 44 came up you're being strong about situations this week and i do believe a lot of you it has to do with 
finances. I think you have a lot of a lot on your mind and you are working for those goals and in return you're going to see the wheel of fortune come in and bless you for that. The page of wands says get ready for those opportunities that are going to come forward. Could be the opportunity of a new job, a new move, a new location, um, you know, a promotion, um, stepping out there and being able to feel free. Maybe you're getting the gift of freedom for some reason and you're able to move forward and go forward and create all those beautiful you know goals that you're reaching for queen of wands says stay focused and if you hear some drilling i apologize again they're working above me uh, on the condo i'm in and i can't control that but hopefully it won't get too distractive okay queen of wands as i said she's she's one of my favorite because she's you know she looks at all the naysayers and says hey watch me you, she's walked through the fire she's come out the other side like phoenix you've heard me say this before and i think she's going for what it is she wants and staying focused on that the black cat is always sitting at her feet she's totally oblivious you know she thumbs puts her thumb on the end of her nose and she says to everybody ha all you doubters watch me so you're taking on that strength now there's your strength stepping up and being focused for that goal that you want and that goal that you want is ultimate happiness reason to celebrate reason to get out there and want to be in the world and be passionate here and celebrating so you could be celebrating you know uh, celebrating an offer an opportunity that's come in that's allowed you to go forward now be independent and go out there after what you want I love this reading. You're definitely going to have reason and want to get together with others to celebrate. Now, for some of you, it could be the fact that you need to commend yourself and you're going to be celebrating a great achievement that you have completed. Something that's come out and, and you're getting recognition for it and now you want to get out there and everybody around you who loves you wants to celebrate this. For others, you could be hearing about an announcement. Maybe you're moving. Maybe there's a new home you're going to or maybe somebody's having a housewarming or a party or maybe there's an end announcement of a wedding an engagement a partnership happiness of some sort and you're going to want to celebrate it also it could be the announcement of a, a new birth a baby coming into the family fold now coming in towards you at the end of the week you have the world the knight of swords and the queen of swords so the world is all about things coming to completion full circle being able now to take things to the next level you know you're stepping up into your independence here with this queen of wands going for what you want with all the opportunity presenting itself here coming in towards you you know i love this reading it's all about good energy it's celebrating and moving forward the world says you can the world is your oyster and you're able now to go out and create what it is you want so step up my beautiful beautiful aries and go after what it is you want but this is full circle this is completion this is taking things to the next level i love it you know, we talked about the Page of Wands and the opportunities, and the World card is all about that as well. You could be receiving recognition or an award or an accolade for something you've done. Some of you could be starting a new job or going, moving to a new home and relocating, but this is all about clarity now and knowing where it is you want to go. <laughs> And feeling the freedom to do this. But you're getting recognized for your talents, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. Now coming in below that, you have the Knight of Swords. And this is all about fast-moving action coming towards you. There's something could be coming in that requires you to act on it immediately. Maybe you're signing some documents, some papers, some correspondence. But it could be legal and binding. Signing off something here because the world tells me you're moving on to the next level. Completion being done. But be careful. Read between the lines. Don't don't accept the first offer you see don't set yourself up here for a mistake okay um, <clears throat> be careful avoid any um, avoid any confrontation that you might have with someone who's coming in towards you as well so you know what stop what you're doing and thoroughly examine the truth in a situation here and be careful if you're signing anything you're moving on definitely going in a new direction cleaning house getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you and you're heading on this new journey i think you're moving i think you're moving on relocating uh you're going out on your own you're leaving a situation where there may have been partnership and now you have um <clears throat> you're being you're going singular you're you're going solo uh you're heading out from a situation and moving forward on your own maintaining your strength she has that ability to say you know what I'm out of here. It isn't serving me. I'm out of this relationship or I'm out of this job or I'm out of this house or I'm moving on. And she literally cleans house. She gets rid of anything that won't serve her and she's off traveling on her own lightly here. So some of you maybe stepping out and going out on your own. Maybe you're going out in, on your own leaving a relationship. Maybe you're going out on your own 
and you're you're going to uh, go on a trip alone or maybe you're you're um, moving uh, on your own somewhere you could be just you leaving something here but definitely going forward in a positive direction she's very strong she's very independent she's often referred to as the widow or the divorcee because she's on her own she's strong and she's capable and she goes for what she wants so some of you male or female may be stepping out on your own now to go go and create uh, a new part of your journey here this week now let's see what we have here for clarification cards my beautiful beautiful aries let's see guides and spirit what does aries need to see know expect past present possible future energy beginning middle and end of the week so we're going to be pulling one card here to go with each one of these today Okay, so right off the bat, with the Wheel of Fortune and this beautiful page of, of Pentacles, good news about money coming in, <clears throat> you have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles says, you know, you may have been worried about money. Uh, and, you know, this could be the, the change that's coming in for you. The Five of Pentacles talks about feeling lack and loss and grief and sadness. It is a five. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we know that the fives talk about things like that, challenges. But you have help coming into you. Lean into that help. Is it your is it your spirituality you need to lean into? Is it a person that you care and who loves and can support you? Is it a professional here that you can lean into when it comes to money here? Because we're talking about money here a lot of the time, uh, especially in this particular <clears throat> beginning of the week. And I think you might be requiring some assistance here. Maybe you're going to your accountant or you're going to your investment uh, person. Um, but definitely you could be dealing with banks. You could be dealing with legal eagles and lawyers um, when it comes to finances. But if you do, you'll get clarity there. You'll be able to see where you stand. You won't have to feel this uneasiness, this, this feeling of lack and loss, worry. Okay, coming in in the center position what have you got you have the beautiful strength card so twice you know you've got this double message that you are going to be stepping up into your strength because you're stronger than you realize you are I think you've given up the fight but not given up <clears throat> and that means you're not going to go into any confrontations this week with the roar of the lion I always say if you do that you react in the heat of the moment and then you may regret and remember words are things we can never retract or take back so I think you're stepping up and you're inwardly being strong you realize what you need to do for you this week okay and you're going to do that and always remember too if you're communicating with anybody you know sometimes some people call it reverse psychology whatever but you have that ability to um to go in with the gentleness of a lamb now try to be a little more compassionate understanding and perhaps even forgiving and you're going to win the day because of that you as long as you don't go in aggressively with the roar of the lion now coming in at the end of the week you have the beautiful justice card i love this justice means that i just you know i always tell you when the justice card comes up i hear the hammer the gavel go down and new beginning remember and a cycle new cycles moving forward in a new direction it may have been a legal situation here and you're going to find that justice is served and it will be waived in your favor i think there's going to be a fair assessment here i think you know and i think it's going to be a woman that saves the day maybe she's a female judge maybe she's your lawyer uh, somebody here close to you someone here who's advocating for you uh, she has been in your end of the ring and I think she's the one that's going to uh, you know make justice come to fruition here for you and it will be in your favor Wow I love it well <clears throat> My beautiful, beautiful Aries, this is your reading for today. And I wish you a great remainder to today. <clears throat> and you know what? Always remember that the universe and the divine and your higher self, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. And never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, and all the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed. Blessings, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. I send you many blessings, much love. Let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.